Uh, greetings, my name is Isa Bokar Se. On our program today, or on the special session today, the topic or the theme is this one. An appeal and an advice to the authorities in Banjul to be more precise, the Minister of Women's Affairs, being the one overseeing the office of the Vice President, Her Excellency Fatumata Tambajan, to form a task force which will be charged with the responsibility of looking into the following compelling social forces that are facing our young ladies today. Beginning with early marriages and then teenage pregnancy and then prostitution last but not least on the list of these compelling social challenges being domestic violence not to exclude challenges that are facing children and the adults with special needs ranging from physical challenges to blindness and the like. To that effect, this appeal is extended to foreign diplomatic missions within the Gambia and those in Dakar that are accredited to the Gambia, non-governmental organizations, especially those whose areas cover these issues, UNDP, UNESCO, philanthropists, local businessmen, be they Gambians or not, to galvanize our efforts from all angles and all sides therefore remain determined to serve as the pillars or the supporting pillars for that platform we are advising or appealing to the office of the vice president and the ministry of women's affairs to build which is the task force to look into these compelling social forces that are definitely affecting the lives of our young ladies. Educate a woman, you educate a society. Educate a man, you educate an individual. The continuity of humanity is the woman. Therefore, this has been part of my agendas over the years. We did touch on this topic but did not elaborate due to the nature of the fight we have been going through because we were living on the tyranny. We honestly believe from a professional and personal perspective this is the right time to send an appeal or an advice like this because the person occupying that position today in the Gambia government is one of the most qualified in Africa today to be called or invited or reminded or supported 
to fight against these things that have just been enumerated, which is early marriage, teenage pregnancy, prostitution, and domestic violence. Based on research that was conducted and first-hand experience, which is observations that derive facts, it is an established fact that not only are our young ladies standing along the Senegambe Road or areas linked to the tourism development area in the Gambia and those practicing it from their homes, we have also found out that young Gambian girls uh, in Mur, Sali, Portugal, Senegal, and also in Dakar and other tourist areas in Senegal practicing prostitution. This is not speculation. This is derived from empirical data. Therefore, the appeal is meant to remind ourselves and the authorities that we owe it to society. So, I am also going to solemnly declare here that I am ready to render any service to any party that may wish to contact and ask for advice or leads that can take us to places where we can have support to help these young ladies. We as a society can definitely find ways of bailing them out. Some of them would never hesitate to become designers if they have the sewing machines or the workshops. Some of them would never hesitate to be sellers, sales agents, or to continue courses, get their certificates and become secretaries. Some of them also could also be trained as ushers during major events in the Gambia. Some I'm sure would not even mind becoming taxi drivers or bus drivers because the modern generation requires that and we have seen two ladies fly an aeroplane which takes off and lands on water from Bahrain to Jeddah about three weeks ago. Educate a woman, you educate a society. Educate a man, you educate an individual. These are the models of our future leaders. One of them could be the mother of the future president of the Republic of the Gambia. Thank you very much.